an all-new American musical comes to Arizona Broadway Theater this September. Based on a true story, all hopes are on the line as 10 strangers compete for the chance to drive away with the American dream. Hands on a Hard Body drives into Arizona Broadway Theater September 1st. Get your hands on a ticket today. Hey everybody, I'm Brad York. I'm the Director of Marketing here at Arizona Broadway Theater. And we're here to talk about the next show on the schedule, Hands on a Hard Body. And no, as we keep saying, it is not an autobiography, folks. Uh, this is really, this is, uh, this is really <laughs> an amazing story of a relatively new musical that was on Broadway just a few years ago. And it's great for ABT to be able to bring a new work. Many of you are used to seeing ABT do a number of the old War Horse classics, which we love to do and we know you like as well. But at this time of year, it's really an opportunity to step a little further into the artistic realm and do something maybe you guys haven't all heard of, but something you'd really like to come and see. And today, I have an extra special guest, of course, the director of Hands on a Hard Body, Mr. Danny Gorman. Wave Hi, to the camera. Hello. Hi, people Hi, out people. there in cyber world. <laughs> Uh, Danny was last year at ABT for Bye Bye Birdie uh, as a performer in 2009. Years yeah. ago. We know lots of people who were on that show. Uh, so many people. So many so people. people are in our show. That's right. That show, which is cool. And uh, forgive me if I, I say this incorrectly, but Danny is just joining us after closing uh, assistant directing, correct? Yes. Sunset Boulevard with Glenn Close on Broadway. Well, first of all, just a little bit. Was that really cool? It was wonderful. Yeah. It's a... It, it, I'm still pinching myself. The show's been over for two months. And yeah. I'm like, did yeah. that actually happen? Yeah, it was. Tell me, do you have a fatal attraction to Glenn oh, now? Oh, well, that was terrible. Oh, bombing on it all. Oh, crash it, bro. No, really, what I wanted to talk about today with you, I mean, is reading through some of your director notes and what you were saying about this show. Give us a little bit of your. Uh, your outlook in history. Of course, you didn't necessarily know about this show yourself sure. when you got the call to direct. Correct. Yeah. So I um, I knew I, I knew that it was what it was when it was on Broadway. I uh, I had friends who were involved with it, and uh, uh, but I didn't see it. It ran for like right. thirty performances, um, and so it was just sort of there, and it was gone. Um, and it, it sort of had that that you're in town esque shock right. value of it, where you're like you hear the title and you don't really know what it is, mm -hmm. and it's sort of uh, that's always exciting if that the title piques your interest right. to begin with, but it was gone before I knew it, and it was just one of those shows that kind of passed under the radar, and I didn't, uh, I didn't listen to it, I didn't read it, and so it just kind of went away. So when the, uh, when the call came in saying that we have uh, this, the, this show that we were thinking about you for, um, I did. I sat down and I and I read it and and I listened to the music, and it was it was just so surprising to me. Uh, the relationships and the the real personal stories that these people share, um, and then to not only share these these really deep, sensitive parts of themselves, uh, but to share it through song, through you know rock, country rock, right. these beautiful ballads. I mean, it, it was. Uh, really a very visceral experience which again I, I wasn't necessarily expecting I right. didn't know enough about it to say like oh this is probably great this is I, I always like to judge something based on what my initial takeaway was and my initial takeaway was that I was really kind of stunned where I was and I didn't quite I, I couldn't quite grasp why they took me the way that they did these people right. in, the, in the story so just really cl quick folks what we've got here with this show is a story of ten contestants and their 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 uh, other members of their family uh, spouses and such that I've entered a competition, had to keep their hands on a Nissan hard body for a certain number of time in order to win that truck. Now, for years these have been competitions that have gone on, endurance competitions, but this one in particular was made into a documentary, I believe in 19... It was 1997. 1997. Exactly. And when we say that this musical is about real people, this really is about you and me. Um, great, hardworking, blue collar, tax-paying Americans um, who are looking for a little leg up, something a little extra that can happen. So when you're saying you're reading about this and uh, taken aback by the, your visceral feeling, give the uh, viewers a little uh, description of what you mean by that. You know, we do lots of shows. We've had a Beauty and a Beast sure. on stage. We've, we've taken people back to Victoria, England and, and Oliver. And there's a lot of uh, story in that where you can say to yourself, I'm seeing a musical. This is a story right. on stage. This show strikes me as a story about everyday people, and that's what makes us a little different. Yeah, that's. I mean, it's it's a really interesting conceit in that you know, we, these people are bound to a truck for the entire show. Right. You know, total the, of it was how many hours? Ninety one hours. Ninety one hours. Yeah. Just over ninety one hours, which is astounding. And these people, I mean, they're standing with their hand, at least one hand on a truck, 
uh, they get 15 minute breaks every six hours, but that's it. It's to hydrate, to use the restroom, right. to eat something. Um, and they're, they're just there. And so, you know, you kind of wonder, like, well, what's, is it static? What's the nature of this? And after a while, you know, you peel away the competition aspect of it. I mean, everyone is here to win. And that, that's instinctually exciting theater. It's exciting human relation because everyone has a need, and those needs are in direct conflict with the they other can't, And they can't get away and from they, each other. Exactly. Right. So they're just there. But when you strip away the contest side of things, and the, you are really experiencing people at their truest selves. Correct. Um, and, and, you know, that's what makes theater exciting for me. That's what makes theater accessible for me is, you know, what truth do I see up there? What, like, glimmer, what slice of life is in existence with that person or that person with another person? Right. Um, and that's exactly what this show is. It's, you know, it's a two and a half hour musical about human experience mm -hmm. and human relationships and interpersonal relationships and how, you know, one may jive well with another, one may really repel the other. But again, when you bring it back to the, the kind of vacuum, the pressure cooker of we are hours all here, here for 91 right. hours yeah. until the last man is standing. So I, what, I, what I've talked to the cast about and what they've been finding so beautifully in rehearsal is, you know, what parts of them, themselves as actors, are they finding in the characters that they're playing? And then you fuse that with the fact that these characters are based on real people. Right. If you watch that documentary, all of these contestants, there are, there are more contestants in the documentary than we're focusing on in, sure. in our story, just to, you know, for, for simple time reasons, otherwise you'd be watching a 91 hour musical. <laughs> uh, so next season, yeah. part two, hands yeah. on a hard body. Um, but you know, it's, so we, we, we focus it in on these 10 contestants, um, but it's, they are real people. Right. So what they are saying in the, the play is a lot of times what these characters say in the documentary. Um, so when you take the actor putting their truth into this character that is inspired by the truth of another person, it is just so textured and it's so right. layered. And I think, I think the audiences and anyone who kind of comes in contact with it will find a piece of themselves right. in every single character. The show's built around an enormous amount of humor, a lot of heartache, uh, and triumph, and overcoming uh, difficulties in life. We have a mother with six kids, uh, what this means for her and her family. We have a husband who uh, injured on the job, uh, his relationship with his wife. We have a, a gal whose religion uh, drives her, her life and her faith, and her really her purpose and calling for this is that this is God is this is her this, calling. calling. She to, was brought to, to this to spot yeah. to win that. Um, we have a Latino American, African American. Um, we have middle class, lower class, upper class. I mean, it's everybody. It spans the gamut, yeah. and and it's really, again, it's. I think every every person is going to walk away with something different. I what what excites me so much about this show. Um, one of my one of my professors in school uh, talked about the, the third act of a musical or a third act of a play, which um, is not what you're seeing there, but the conversation that you as an audience or the spectators have on their way home right. or at the bar after the show where you're like, well, what happens to these people next? Right. Where do they go from here? Um, and, and I think the, the real humanity in this story that we're telling is the fact that each of these people do have uh, tomorrow and what their next day right. is. Um, so, so I mean, we're counting on the audience to invest as much of their heart into the story and into these characters as we have been doing in the rehearsal room, and we've been just pouring ourselves and our hearts and our truths and our honesties in um, at, at all at all angles. At all angles and at all costs. Yeah. Well, folks, Hands on a Hard Body opens on September first and runs through September twenty fourth. It's one of our shorter runs of the show at the end of this twelfth season here at ABT. Of course, you can get tickets online at azbroadway.org or by calling the box office at 623-776-8400. If you let the folks know that you saw this video, ask about some of the special promotions happening right now because we really want to fill up the seats and have you come see the show. Like Danny was saying, you're going to take something away with it that you might not have taken away with another show. And again, it's a chance to see something new. We brought Broadway, which is in our title, right here at Arizona Broadway here, uh, Theater this September, so we hope to see you at the show.